All right, West Prom here with head coach Tom Curley of the football team. Uh, we're halfway through the season, coach. Hard to believe we're already at that point, but uh, coming off a big win against Northern Michigan, the Miners' Cup stays in Houghton. Uh, Got to feel pretty good about that. Well, we do, Wes. I mean, that's the first time, I think, in the history of that that cup that somebody's got it four times in a row. Uh, you know, our seniors can now say that they, you know, they played all four years without losing that thing, and uh, it was, you know, returned in in one piece to to the uh, athletic director. So I think everybody's happy. Talk about the game. The defense, obviously, the last couple of weeks uh, has given up some points, uh, but you come back and you only give up seven against a team that um, likes to move it around, and and we're worried about maybe playing in space a little bit with them. But you shut them down pretty well. We did. I mean, we came out, uh, you know, right off the get-go. You know, first series, of third down, uh, you know, we lost contain, and they, and they got a first down. And then I think after that, you know, once we settled down, uh, you know, I thought we did a great job of keeping the quarterback, you know, within the confines of the, of the, uh, of the box, if you would, did not get outside. Um, you know, I, I thought our, our secondary did a real good job of, uh, you know, what we call plastering or any time you know, he started to run around a little bit. We, we latched on to receivers and, you know, continued to play the coverage that, uh, you know, that we were assigned. Made some big plays, too. A couple of uh, takeaways in the game. Uh, talk about that aspect. Well, those, those, are, those are key. Uh, you know, we had, we had four. Uh, you know, we had a two interception, two, two fumbles. Uh, you know, a big one came, uh, you know, right in the third quarter when, uh, you know, we, we, we took a timeout to, to force him into the wind to kick or, or, or go for it, and they went for it on a fourth down, and Tanner Egan made a great, great play on, on, a, on, a, on a strip and stripped the ball. And of course, we got the ball, and I think they were 12 or 13, and then we're able to score on the next play. I think that was, and that kind of put the ball game, you know, away, and that was, that was huge. How about offensively? Uh, not a ton of big plays, but you moved the ball. You had a couple of long drives in the game. We, we did. We had, uh, I think, key one was, uh, you know, our second drive. They, they punted us down to the four, and we took, I think, about 14 or 15 plays and went 96 yards, and and, and punched one in, uh, you know, and then right before half, we, we drove down and got another one, which put us up three scores right, you know, I think with 20, 25 seconds to go in the first half, you know, and that, that was huge to get yourself up three scores going into the halftime. What does that win do for you moving forward as, as you go to three and two on the season? Well, you know, it, it, you know, it gets us back to, to, you know, where we were able to walk in and say, hey, we played a good football game. You know, we'd gone two weeks in a row where we, we were not able to say that. Uh, you, you know, one thing is we we can't have the hangover, if you would. Uh, you know, it was a big ball game, a lot of emotion. We have to get back now to to realize, and uh, you, you know, we've got another one just as important, just as big, on the road this this coming week. Let's talk about Northwood. Uh, what do we know about the Timberwolves? Well, they they have you know very good team speed. Uh, you know, they run very well. Uh, they've 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 been in every football game you know I think they were up 21-10 you know middle of second quarter last week at, at Saginaw and you know and had some unfortunate things happen to them in the second half uh, you, you know they've uh, won a couple of league ball games uh, you know they they do a lot of things well De defensively they run their special teams you know have uh, you know present some problems I think they've got a a uh, guy that's returning uh, punts like 23 24 yards of punt return so there's there's you know they're they're a task what areas at this point in the season are you working on to, to get your team to improve on? Well, we didn't. We we did not run the football very well on Saturday. You know, when your tailback has 25 carries and in less than 75 r yards rushing, that, that that that's a concern. And we're, you know, we we were a block, you know, a block short. Seemed like on an awful lot of football plays. And, you know, if one more guy gets a block uh, on Saturday, we've got a lot lot more yards rushing. You know, and it was different people at different times. And I think. You know, we, we have to understand uh, that, you know, when, when you're blocking and, and, and running, and it's, you know, it's not just the offensive line, it's everybody involved. The receivers have to block, the running backs have to make the right cuts. But we, we have to be, do a better job, I think, of, you know, our yards per rush has to be better than it is right now. Style-wise, how does Northwood compare to Northern Michigan? Uh, you know, they're similar. Uh, the, you know, spread, spread offense, a little bit of the tight end. Uh, they'll give you the you know, the one tight end with the one back look. But, uh, you know, now you can sit there just about every week and say they're similar because, you know, everybody's, you know, gone to the, you know, three, four, 14 wide outs and, you know, making you play in space. Um, when you look at this week's game, what, uh, what factors, what keys will you say the Huskies will need to do to get a win in Midland? Well, you know, I, I think big thing defensively is we can't give up big plays. They've had, you know, a lot of explosive plays. And, and we have to, to, to limit those. You know, our, our ball games when we've played well defensively, 
we haven't given up very many big plays. I think last week there was two plays that were, you know, over, you know, plus double digits, you know. When we played uh, Walsh, there was one or two. You know, when we played uh, Grand Valley, it was like 17, and when we played Finley, it was like 14. That, that has to be a factor. And offensively, we're still not good yet in maximizing points. You know, we're, we've got, uh, you know, we had two drives on Saturday where we, you know, had first and goal and ended up settling for, for three, and then we had one where we were first and goal on the one and didn't get any points. Coach, have a great week. Thanks, Wes. Thank <laughs> you.